This week at number six with cheese, ten dollars for the Monday drunk shirt, ten dollars for the black hamburger shirt. Sale ends Sunday. Get them now. Happy Friday. Welcome to Bruin Review. When I'm on the internet, I'm watching Bruin Review. Ooh. Ooh, Corey, what are we sipping on today? Today we got Bill's Light Hearted Ale. It's a low cal IPA for those who want the flavor of IPAs with the calories of water. Go ahead and grab yourself a light hearted ale from Bell's. That's an endorsement. I like the can. Yeah, can's beautiful. Dope um, fish, dope colors, dope stream. One thing I would like to ask your opinion on is on the can it does say, hey Puerto Rico, do not litter. Why just Puerto Rico? Damn, bro. That's Why are they racist. calling out the Puerto Ricans, dude? That's a little much. That's racist, dude. Is it like way more illegal there? Like, what's going on? I'm about to tell Zacho's stepdad he's about to go around flipping out <laughs> on these folks. But they do have protein, 1.3 grams. All right, they made up for it for all the racism. Yeah. <laughs> Only 3.7% alcohol. Mm -hmm. That's a light boy. It's very light. So, how many of these would it take you to get buzzed? Man, that's a dang good question. More than a six pack. Drink with us. Yeah, sixers, mm -hmm. six, six beers with us. 60 shots. What are we feasting on today, good sir? Today, uh, one of the massive brands, uh, Nestle owns Stouffer's. So these are Stouffer's bacon and white cheddar Mac bites. I think they steal water from poor countries and then uh, sell it for profit. Do they have any problem with That's Puerto Nestle Ricans though? <laughs> we did the lasagna bites version of this. These came out, these little Mac bites. Uh, here's a clip of that. We've got Stouffer's Classic Lasagna Bites. Cheers. Cheers. These are pretty delicious. They're delightful. Dipple! <laughs> and then now this version. So let's get in here. We air, air fry these bad boys. So if you got an air fryer and we like them, do that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, they're frozen food item. Right, honestly it's just nice that the air fryer makes those crispy because the outside being crispy I think makes I was just gonna say they're not as crispy as I would've wanted. They're I like, want them crispier, but there's barely any crisp on this. I still like that there's some. It yeah. very easily be mushy. Mm -hmm. The white cheddar comes through the most. I'm not getting as much bacon, Yeah. but a lot of white cheddar. That's the thing I was most afraid of, is the macaroni and cheese. Yeah. It's, the white cheddar's not bad, but the macaroni and cheese is so mushy. It is. That it just is um, not very appealing. It's actually kind of shocking to me that there are noodles in here. Yeah, they kind of get lost in the cheese. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty gross in my opinion, but I'm also not a big white cheddar guy and not uh -huh. like a mush, mush guy. I don't <laughs> like mush. <laughs> I think that's an okay take to have, to not like mush. Yeah. I think the uh, lasagna ones were definitely better. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little hot sauce pocket. Yeah, you know how Panera has those bread bowls you can drink soup out of? I have that now with this. It's like, what's going on over here? Yeah, I've got, got a whole thing going on over here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to tighten this so that she shut the f up. Mmm. The hot sauce. But I need some. a little bit of patience. <laughs> you tried to find the only corner in this, this <laughs> whole <laughs> apartment. This is what I can do. Got this whole <laughs> apartment. She's like, I'll go right behind him. That'll be the perfect spot. <laughs> About to get it. <laughs> you about to get it. About, about to get it. I'm a victim, bro. So about I'm a sure. victim of domestic abuse. They're a lot better with hot sauce. Oh, I believe that. Gets rid of a lot of the white cheddar goo. Well, it's still there, but you can't taste it as much. But you gotta do that. You gotta bite the head off of that. So you have to have one bite you don't like, unless you wanna dip the whole damn thing in there. But you could. You give yourself a little side bowl of six or sauce. So. I'm a fan of that. It's just more work. <laughs> I like the bite and pour. I mm -hmm. think it's worth the work. Bite and pour. We should trademark that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Not weird. You came up with that. Yeah, that's us. Awesome. You can have all. That's what I was thinking. You can have all the money. I think unless you're obsessed with white cheddar, I'd skip these. Um, if you like. Ah! What are you rating it right now? We got a whole thing to do here. There's a whole format. You don't give it all away. You tell them you'd skip them. Now the suspense is gone. Sure, I'll have a drink. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I forgot how, we've done uh, brew reviews for, what, 500 episodes and I forgot how it works. Before we rate those, and before we do a shout out, guys, don't forget to like this video. Helps a lot, helps the channel. We have new episodes every single weekday. The more likes those videos get, the more people that will see them so you can support the channel. And then we've been interacting with you guys in the comments. So let's come up with a fun comment for you guys here today. What's the closest thing to lumpy cum that you've ate from the frozen food section? <laughs> Oh, the comment pops up, <laughs> but that's blurred out too. <laughs> um, in more appropriate terms, 
What's the worst frozen food appetizer that you've ever had? Yeah, that's a great some, one. Some might call it lumpy <laughs> and some, some, some. Some might have a little bit more respect for their vocabulary. Excuse me, but I think I'm basically a poet with curse words. I, I don't know a lot of poets that use lumpy That's, well, you, you're gonna define art now? Yeah. You decide, yeah, you're right, you don't know a lot because I'm unique, you know one, <laughs> it's me. It's the one and only. Look, just because I use the word lumpy doesn't mean it's not poetry. It flows off the tongue like an elegant beast. So comment yours below. Sounds like you have mental problems, man. Yeah, you got mental problems, man. Yeah, it really does. Man. Merch shot, merch shot, merch shot. That's right, you heard it earlier. $10 this week only. Today's, well, Sunday's the last day. To get this uh, big old logo on a black shirt. We also have the Monday Drunk shirt. On Monday, you'll see a Monday Drunk episode. And what if in that moment, you realize you didn't snag yourself one of the remaining shirts? You're gonna feel like a real dummy. You know that? number 6 is the website. $10 for those two shirts, and then a bunch of other stuff on the website as well. Uh, today, two names of people that bought off the website. Don't forget the Hot Sauce subscription, the fastest way to get a shout out. Let's do the names. And merch out number one goes to Miss Renee Maddie. Yeah. Yeah. Renee got three bottles of Sixer sauce. We shipped that out to Belleville, Michigan. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Renee. We appreciate you supporting our channel. I used to beat up on Belleville in baseball growing up. Dude, that's sick. I was on the bench, but my team was doing great. <laughs> Nobody cares, Sean. Merch out number two goes to Mr. Derek Vines. What a great name. Uh, he lives in Elizabethton, Tennessee, and he ordered three bottles of Sixer sauce. So Derek, dope ass last name. Thank you for buying. Thank you to both of you guys for supporting Number Six with Cheese. If you want this del del delectable nectar, number six with cheese.com. Guys, two other fun things. Tomorrow, live show, 3 p.m. Eastern, noon specific. Uh, we're going live, we're spinning the wheel, we're doing a live food review, so come on by, hang out, donate to the show, or just veg out on free content once again, whatever you want, but come on by tomorrow, and then also at the end of this video, we're gonna do a, a package opening, a We Got the Goods. But first, let's rate this, thumbs up or thumbs down. Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. Thumbs up for that, <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you'd like to enjoy it. The main thing is, should the Sixers buy these bacon and white cheddar Mac bites? Are you ready? Yes. Ho oh, oh. No. Yeah, and you probably tell by the bite and a half I took it and pushed it away. <laughs> the full meal that's left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not for me, man. Too mushy on the inside, not crispy enough on the outside. Yeah, I, uh, I just think that because they make another lasagna one, and then also I would say like, you can probably toast these up like a mother. You could like leave these in way longer you need, than yeah. you think to get, make them even crispier. Because they're good. done, and they're nice and hot inside, but if you want them to really have a crunch, I'd say leave them in the air fryer for longer than maybe. 40 minutes. Just 40 to 45 minutes, but. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Another week of number six with cheese videos. We hope you hope you come on by for the live show tomorrow. Say hi to this little domesticated skunk and uh, sure I'll have a drink. No. Only a few pint glasses left. This is the post-credit bumper thing or whatever that when fans and brands send us stuff in the mail. We've got the goods. What, would you like to go first, good sir? Yes, sir. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then what? Then you're a moron. Cool. Oh, baby. Oh, it's a, a lot. So huge congratulations to Hoff, one of the best hot sauces in America, maybe the world. Uh, they're featured this season on Hot Ones. He reached out and sent us a bunch of stuff. One of my favorites by far. Oh my god, look how even these sick stickers are. Oh, those are cool. Man, look at how matte, like these stickers are so nice. The, the, the guy and his company do nothing half-assed. They full ass everything. So we've got the wake up call hot sauce, we've got their smoking ghost ketchup, and then we've got uh, their dirty dust seasoning salt, and then we also have their uh, house sauce, but house is spelled German-like, H-A-U-S. And then this one, look at this. This is a box in a box. To celebrate their five year anniversary, they're releasing <gasps> only 1,000 bottles of the Smokin' Ghost. And look at this. And a comic book. Oh wow, available to the public right now. That's kind of cool. Look at this. Beautiful box. Careful now. The art on this is insane. The Rise of Smoke and Ghost. I this think is we, the comic book? Had, oh yeah, it's right there. Yo, we got the OG. Wow. Hoff and Pepper. 
comic book. Look at that, that is sick. Look how beautiful this bottle is. Guys, this is like, the quality of this is absolutely insane. Wow, the legend of Hawk. Wow, this one's gonna be, uh, we'll have to do this in a Monday episode and do it justice. Wow. Yeah, definitely. A few of these. Hawk, thank you so much for sending. Uh, like we said, we've been we've been riding that wave for years. Like when we first had them, we've been they've been in our top five since we started the show. I constantly, anytime we're talking about our favorites, I always talk about Hawk. Yeah, always. One hundred percent. They're my top three for sure. Absolutely. Uh, guys, if you want to send us anything, this is our address. It goes to a UPS store. We pick it up safely. So if you have any hot sauces or fun stuff. Uh, that's the address. So thanks for rocking with us. See you on Monday, but also see you tomorrow for the live show.